We are super excited to have you have everyone with us today. We are going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be doing our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. And today we're going to be talking about email templates. This whole month, we're going to be doing small little segments on emails and how to better your communication with your contacts. And we're kicking that off with email templates. I'm Dan. And my name's Logan. In today's business world, email is one of the most important ways you have to communicate with your customers. A lot of younger people like myself, I'm sticking with that, prefer using email over using the phone. You can get to it when you want to, you got time to think about everything, and you can go back to it when you're ready to uh, check it out and make sure you got everything right. But that means that you're going to be writing a lot of emails and you're going to be writing a lot of the same emails over and over and over again. Now you can, if you want, uh, just write that email over and over. Or I don't know, maybe you've got a, a Google Doc and you copy and paste it. But we've got a better solution for you here in Job Nimbus. You can use email templates. Now these templates you can make once and use as much as you want. You'll make them look super professional so that you look good to your customer. You can even uh, customize them so that it looks like you wrote it for that individual and they'll feel very touched and they'll feel the love and they'll want to do business with you. And to go one step further, you can even use these with our automations so you don't even have to hit the send button. You just move them to a certain point in your workflow and boom, sends email. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. The templates, they have a lot of features that you can use to help you save time. Now to get to your templates, you'll want to go to your settings. You'll click on your name in the top right corner of your job Nimbus screen and select settings from the drop down menu and then select templates from the left side navigation menu. This will pull up every single template that you've ever created in job Nimbus. And it takes a while because this has a lot. As you see, this account has a lot of templates. If you want to create a new template, you can click on Add Template and then select whatever kind of template you want to create from the drop down menu, or you can select a click on Edit on any of these templates you've already created. Now we already have a template created that we're going to be working on today, and that is Sales Rep Welcome Email. This is the email that we want to send out to all of our clients when they are introduced to our company. This will be sent out from the sales rep to welcome them and introduce them to our services and our company. So let's click on edit to pull it up. Oh, Dan, 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 Dan. Um, What's wrong with it? I, there's a list. I have a list. <laughs> I mean, the good news is we have our logo down here at the bottom. Uh, the language isn't bad. So let's, let's do some repair work here. Uh, I'm going to start by highlighting all of this. And then I'm going to use the toolbar here up at the top to make this look better. So let's de-italicize the thing. Change it from IBM Plex Sans to something that I've heard of as a font. Let's go Arial. Let's change it from 19 point to 14 point. And uh, let's change it from hot pink to black. And one more thing we can do, uh, let's go ahead and highlight the logo and let's have it link to our website. So if anyone clicks on this, they'll get directed right to the Job Nimbus website like you'd see on a big fancy company's email. We'll mark that to open a new window. Cool, okay, now we're done. Very good, awesome, very that awesome. Is, that is actually looking a lot better, but we can go one step further. Oh. We, yeah, we have, this is already looking a lot more professional than the hot pink italicized. That, that in all honesty was pretty bad, but let's personalize this email to our customers. Right here, it says, hey customer, that's kind of cold and unwelcoming. We want this to be inviting to our customers. So let's highlight, hey customer, or let, at least highlight customer. And then we're going to personalize this using template fields. Click on template fields, navigate down here to contact, and then let's click on first name. Now this will pull up the first name of our customer. As soon as they see the email, it's directed right at them. 
Now, another thing that's kind of weird about this is we have, I'm your sales rep, but with no name. Since any sales rep can send this template, let's click on template fields and come down here to contact workflow where the sales rep information is housed and click on sales rep. Now it says, I'm your sales rep and gives a sales rep name. Let's also do that down here in the sincerely. Delete the your ever present sales rep because that's kind of weird. Yeah, and it's then, a bit creepy. And then click on sales rep again. But let's go one step further. If you have team members in Job Nimbus, you actually have the ability to add images or pictures of your team members right there in your Job Nimbus account. And Job Nimbus will pull has the ability to pull the image that you have associated in your team members file. And we can put that onto the email template. So that way your sales rep name is there and their picture, if it is in Job Nimbus, is also there in the template. So your client can associate the sales rep's name with the sales uh, with the picture of the sales rep. So right there, that's a pretty good professional and personalized template. That is much better. Uh, there is one more thing we can do though. When you're writing an email, there's two things you'll generally write, the body of the email and the subject line, what your customer will see in their inbox. And we can actually put this in our template so you won't have to type that out every time. So we're going to say, welcome. Also important, spelling. People respect you if you spell things correctly. Welcome to the Job Nimbus family. And welcome you, viewer, to the Job Nimbus family. And then we're going to use the insert template field up here. And we can choose their first name here as well. And then because we're excited, we'll end this with an exclamation point. So as soon as they see this email pop up in their inbox, it's going to contain their first name. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that should draw some attention. Yeah, that, that's going to really pull in their, uh, the attention of the contact or the client so that they click on it. So let's, let's save this template. And any time that you make a change in settings, it's actually a really good um, trick or uh, we advise you to refresh your page. So let's refresh our browser. That way it makes sure that all of the changes have been saved in Job Nimbus. Now that we have that template saved, let's see it in action. So let's come in here in, in our search bar and search for a specific contact. Okay, let's type in Mick and click on Mick Rory right here to pull up his contact file. Now that we're in Mick's file, let's go send him an email. In the email window, we can insert our template. So click on insert template and let's click on the email that we just created that template field, uh, that template we just created. And there it is. It's all personalized. It's pretty professional. Hey, Mick, I'm your sales rep, Sergio. And there we have Sergio's picture right down there. That is pretty awesome. Awesome. Well, I think that's an excellent professional looking email. Yeah. And we can click here, send email to send it to Mick right away uh, from here. And that's, that's going to turn out really good. Way good. And that's just one thing you can do with job and MC emails. In future weeks, we'll be happy to talk about more of them. But for the meantime, go ahead and check out our previous webinars, our knowledge base. We've got a ton of information for you. So everybody have a wonderful day.